Hello and welcome. Today I've got a few pinball games and teaming up with my friend Faceful. Today we're using the Ultra Select as our primary blaster and then I'm bringing in the Vivonics as the backup. I've accidentally filled all of my storage with game footage uh, and it means I've lost some like really valuable footage uh, I did recently with Solo Dragon and Mr. Crow. Uh, I'm really gutted about that. I lost over 30 minutes of really good gameplay. Um, so I'm basically making a concerted effort to use the existing footage I've got, put the videos together, get them up on YouTube, and then I can clear a load of space and start again. This first game I'm showing is a weird one because Faceful is in my squad, but it doesn't appear on the minimap anywhere. Um, so I found it really hard to coordinate my movements around him. There he is in front of me. You can see no name appearing on the screen either, and he's invisible on the minimap. Uh, that's just a glitch but it did make this game a little bit more difficult um, but fortunately we we're both excellent players and we um, we didn't struggle to control our side of the battlefield or to collect the tokens our third player appears to be a bot from their behavior of just kind of mindlessly running forward uh, and getting themselves taken out um, but sometimes it's useful to have that because it keeps the enemy bots distracted which enables us to just kind of lay down that distance fire and control the battlefield. So we've got the countdown on now, so all we need to do is make sure that uh, we don't get taken out. And even though I can't tell from the minimap or from looking in game, it appears that the other five tokens are held by Faceful. So nothing I need to worry about there and we get the first victory. So you can see Faceful and I both rocking the same setup and also both rocking the same outfit. Nice to have a little bit of coordination in your team. No doubt the bot will just play the role of Meat Rave, running forward without any sort of tactic or thought whatsoever. Yep, there they go, picking up the tokens and just taking them over to the enemy side. Just what you have to contend with, but it's fine. When you've got a partner working with them, you can easily coordinate. So get taken out there by the Moto Blitz and now coming back in with the Ravonix, switch into manual fire mode of course and now we're just going to lay down that cover in fire, uh, play the role of the disruption and take on a bit more of a tanky role. I can uh, rely on Faceful to pick people off at a distance so now I can just try and terrorise this spawn point a bit and uh, keep the enemies under the cosh best I can. Having to use the um, shield there because all three of them coming at me Bot not being much help at all. As you can see on the minimap, Faceful's pushed forward as well, and now he's helping me to hold this position. Get taken out by the Ultra 2, which is a very good blaster. So coming back in with the Ultra Select, turning off manual fire mode because we need to go back into sniper. And as you can see, Faceful wisely fell back once I went down, knowing that um, you don't want to be first forward with the sniper position when your tank has fallen. So again, moving back up to the middle and just now fighting to recontrol this side of the battlefield. I make a daring dash forward to pick these tokens up because I've still got that healing bar if I need it, which I do. Um, trying to get that last token, which we managed to do, taking out two opponents there. And now just making a fight and retreat. And as you can see on the minimap, uh, Faceful has again pushed forward to support me in that role. And now we're both falling back into a more secure position. So now the countdown's on, all we need to do is defend against this forward push and uh, Faceful and I will stay close together so that if one goes down the other can be there to pick the tokens up. So down to 6 seconds and you see that, to uh, that countdown restarts, pick up those tokens, I've not quite got all 10 though so I am going to try and push to do that. So we can see we've got one forward and then we should get a 10th spawn in, although the timer might actually run out before that happens. So 10th one spawned but there goes the timer, another nice victory. Faceful being the absolute MVP of the last match and as we can see now they've swapped out the Ultra Select for the, um, the Rev Reaper so obviously that needs to build up a bit before it comes effective so I'm going to try and make a point of trying to um, defend Faceful to get them to that point where the Rev Reaper is charged up because once it's at full power um, we could probably use that to just completely dominate the game. And because he's face fully aware of this, he's staying back and holding the back line. 
That was terrible, but I'm not even sorry. So we've only got two enemies on the battlefield at the moment. One's just teleported back. So we're doing a good job of holding position. Now we've got all three and they're pushing forward with a big coordinated effort. Had to use the heal card there, but it doesn't matter. Stayed alive. And uh, as you see, Faceful is still up and still rocking that Rev Reaper. So we're doing well. So we managed to push them all the way back to their base. And now we eliminated that entire push. No enemies on the battlefield. So we'll just grab a couple of tokens and wait for them to respawn. Uh, so we've got two of them pushing up now. Third one, presumably still on cooldown. One goes down, two goes down, and now the other's back up. Uh, and if you can see on the left-hand side there, it looks like that Rev Reaper is basically fully charged or almost fully charged. So you could just see that hail of, da of foam bullets flying now. Uh, it should be fairly easy as long as we don't let um, Faceful get overwhelmed by all three of them. He should take all of these down more or less as quick as they spawn. Faceful, fully aware of that, now moving up into position so we can camp that spawn point. Um, so now I just want to collect these last couple of tokens and we can get that countdown on. Faceful falling back there quite sensibly uh, as the enemies respawn and push forward. And just look at that stream of darts, that is just crazy. I love that blaster so much. It takes a little bit to charge it up, but once it's charged, you have a great time. I hastily retreat, just waiting for that um, healing bar. Just comes in in time, thankfully. Uh, very nearly died with all 10 tokens. Although, if I had done that, Faceful would have been in position to pick them up anyway. It just would have restarted that countdown. Another good game. So I decided to switch up my um, loadout a little bit. So I've come in with the Ultra Speed here, which I'm using the healing bar with because it's a bit of a glass cannon. Uh, and I'm hoping to just give it time to um, build up to full speed so that I can run around the battlefield like a lunatic. See Faceful there has come in with the Dreadbolt, so we're going to get zombies uh, very soon uh, clogging up the battlefield. So lines of sight will be difficult, but that'll be fine because our mobility will make up for it. And once we get to that point where the frame rate can't keep up with the movement speed properly, our worst enemy actually becomes that hole in the middle, trying to avoid that. And the hammers as well, but to a lesser extent. So you can already see I can move around quickly, zip in and out, pick up those drop tokens. Uh, and I can just move around the battlefield so that I can get a few shots in. And then pull back and just pull to a completely different side without having to worry about getting overwhelmed in my position. And having those zombies up front, they're going to take a fair bit of the, um, of the heat. So that's just going to help me to stay alive. So you can see just strafing left and right there, still managing to pop shots off and we're getting kills adding up quite quickly. So I can run in, hit, run back and as you can see my opponents just can't keep up with the speed I am moving at. Uh, I'm starting to lose a bit of control now so I need to be careful. It gets very hard to actually uh, hit something when you're moving this quickly, you tend to have to stand still so just got to be careful because obviously you're vulnerable when standing still. So I've run around, picked all those tokens up back to our side of the battlefield and uh, uh, as I say, we can zip backwards and forwards, it doesn't matter, just try not to fall in that hole. That was close, so we got the countdown on. So if Faceful or our uh, bot teammate does drop one of the tokens, doesn't matter, I can run and pick them up. So just zoom over here, zoom back, it doesn't matter. Cannot be caught, the timer runs down and that's all she wrote for this match. So having a lot of fun with the speed blaster there, so I decided to keep it in my loadout for a couple more games. Faceful still rocking that dread bolt, so once again the mobility is going to help with the zombies that are going to end up everywhere. So we've got a sneak attack forward there, but we managed to take them out. Uh, I don't know why you'd sneak attack forward just to quickly run backwards, surely. The point of that is to try and kill someone and then die. Right, so a couple of tokens over there, so just clear these guys up and then uh, we can run and pick those up. Uh, again, just having to be careful of that hole, even though I'm not moving that quickly yet. I did very nearly fall in it, so I just really need to be careful of my movement. So run in, grab that token, and we've got the ramps on both sides, so we can just have a lot of fun. Arena 3 is a great place to use the Speed Blaster. If I can pick up the majority of the tokens, when I run up those hills, uh, I'm going to get followed by the bots, uh, which will just make it so much easier for Faceful to then take them out. So if you look at the minimap, uh, you can see where they are. So you can see two of them trying to follow me there. All I need to do is jump down and run away avoiding that hole the best we can and then I can just go up the other side rinse and repeat and you can see the zombies now starting to swarm the battlefield uh, the opponents trying to give chase and just not managing to they can't even get through the swarm of zombies and um, and faceful 
this one managing to make it across to me. Um, I spotted that Dino Blaster, which could take me out in two hits. So I thought, uh, just run, run across, carry on. It should be a nice, easy victory. Ooh, we very nearly got to uh, 10 there. So I just need the one token. If I can take this person out, oh, I should, was hoping to run down and pick it up, but that bloody bot's got it. Um, doesn't matter, hopefully, if I can just take out, um, take out these guys. The bots will live long enough that it doesn't matter. Yep, there we go, very nice. Ultimately, the Ultra Speed isn't as good as the Ultra Select. It's uh, arguably more fun, but it's less consistent. Um, once that speed's built up and you can run around like a lunatic, you really do struggle with, um, with actually hitting people, unless you're standing still. Faceful's got the Revonic, so we'll win this easily, so enjoy. Clown, baby, loaded up my phone. Shut 